while the chocolate lava cake cooks in the oven, dinner is served. So we're ready to start tasting and uh, actually see how we did. All right, where do we start? Well, clearly since you've been behind the camera all day, you know what's being cooked. Yep. This is the two heart salad. Mm. So this is uh, enoki mushrooms, but the heart part is the... Are these the psychedelic mushrooms? Are, no, they're not. This is artichoke hearts here. I'll give you some uh, bit of tomato here and uh, a little more mushroom. And let me get you some hearts of palm right here. And uh, take your best shot. Let me do the same for myself. This was so easy. Um, you know, and here we have the culmination of all five episodes. We've been working towards this. Of course, one is the salad, two heart okay. salad. Well, I have my verdict. Which is? It's light, it's tasty, mm -hmm. some real flavor differentiation, the heart to palm texture against the artichoke texture, and of course I've got to taste this tomato. I know you're not a big fan of tomatoes, are you? Mm. Off and on. Is it good? Mm-hmm. More than anything, this tastes super healthy. It does. I've learned from watching Hell's Kitchen, uh, the way to look good on camera eating is you take very small bites. Oh, so. well, I guess I didn't learn that lesson. And your verdict is? Very good. Okay. On to the next. So here we have bacon wrap maple balsamic glazed Cornish skin. Game hens. Pretending I'm carving a turkey, and I'll just cut into here right here and try not to make too much of a mess here. The bacon is crispy like you wanted? Yes, that's with turning the oven up at the end uh, for 10 minutes. Uh, it makes it crispy. Oh my gosh, that looks really good. That's really good. Is it really good or is it really, really good? It's really, really good. That glaze is amazing. The bacon is amazing. The, the game hen is cooked beautifully. It's moist. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's good. Mm. Can you taste the grapefruit in the, oh. the hint of citrus that's in the meat? I forgot about that. It's coming from the inside. Yeah, it's the grapefruit. Very subtle. Used. Yeah. Here's our vegetable accompaniment. These are roasted baby rosemary potatoes. Definitely worth the effort to use the fresh rosemary. Mm -hmm. Rosemary. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. I could taste the thyme in there. I didn't even mention that. They're nice and crisp on the outside. Nice and tender on the inside. They're not overcooked. So be careful in your time. Stay with the time that's indicated down below. I wanted the spinach to be pretty simple. Uh-huh. Um, so there's, uh, you know, it was steamed with lemon in the water and then just a little bit of salt. Now the trick is how do you eat this gracefully. What do you think about the blend of the flavors? Very compl complimentary. They go together. Very strong. They fit great. Excellent. They are. A little bit of sweet with the corn game hen. Then savory with your blue cheese and your rosemary. You know what else other than the bacon? It all feels really healthy. It's all fresh, the herbs are fresh, um, you know, okay, so the game hens were frozen. But everything else, very fresh and, um, and very healthy. So not only is this a romantic dinner, um, and Andrew has just taught you how to look really good while you're eating your romantic dinner. Small bites. Small bites, um, but it's a healthy dinner. There you have it, time for dessert. I hope it comes out. I think that's the way it's supposed to be, maybe. You've got that molten in the center. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is a decadent dessert. Oh my gosh. To have something so simple taste so delicious, that is amazing. Now, I think you could have used another minute. We had the two heart salad, the bacon wrap, maple balsamic glaze, Cornish game hems, um, Small mini <laughs> Dutch rosemary. yellow potatoes, rosemary potatoes, and spinach with crumbled blue cheese. And then these amazing lava cakes for dessert. So this is a relatively easy dinner. You just have to time everything. Work backwards from these. Okay? This you make first. Very easy. You know this is going to take you 75 minutes. You know this is going to take you 20 minutes. You know this is going to take you 7 minutes at the most. And you know these are going to take 13 to 15 minutes. But I'd wait till everything's done, till I put these in the oven. So I want to say from the Happenstance Chef and Andrew, Happy
Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Be sure to like, please subscribe, and if you want to know when the next episode is, hit the bell, and please feel free to comment below. Delicious.